Okay, I'm back. Um, Alright, alarms. I gotta make sure. I always set the timer, otherwise it just screws everything up. Um, oh, okay. So, let's assume that you planned it ahead, which I actually did. Um, I just have to show you the wrong way first. Let's say you did plan it ahead and you had used some color as a background while you were making your guy. So, what we'll do is I'll paste this in. Now, if you use the white if we run it the way it is, it won't work because see everything it, white as a background color is coded in there. Everything turns black pretty much. So what we have to do is instead of saying uh, if it's not equal to white, we say if it's not equal to picture one dot point zero zero. Let me see if that. Yeah. What this does is it's going to look and see what is the very very top corner what color is that and that's what it's going to constantly be comparing to um, let's see here probably a safer way of doing this I'm going to cut this out and say um, temp I'm just gonna make a variable there called temp and I'm gonna say temp equals to this this is probably a safe way of doing it so we'll do it this way um, we're setting the color that it's gonna draw with which is black you know we just so that you guys can see this, I'm just going to say VB green. This is, see, so you draw with green. That's just how you choose what color you draw with. So it's drawing with black. We make a variable here, it doesn't matter what you want to call it. Um, it's equal to the very top corner, whatever color that happens to be. Right up there. It's going to loop through all the pixels in this picture. And if the pixel that it's looking at does not equal that top color, it will draw black. Now, uh, you know what we should do here? Um, I'm going to make this even a little bit better. I'm going to get rid of this picture four color here. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the black part. And I'm going to say, if it does not equal, then change the color to black. And here, you know what? Just so that it's a little easier for those of you who might not be uh, I guess more seasoned programmers or whatever. I'm just going to lay it out like this so it makes a little bit more sense. <clears throat> okay, here's how I'm going to walk you through this. We don't know what color we're going to draw with. It sees what the background color should be. It's going to loop through all of the pixels. Then it says if the current pixel that it's looking at is not the same color as the background, it's going to start drawing with the color black. It hasn't drawn yet, but that's the color it's going to use. If we're currently looking at the background color, if it's equal to temp, then we're going to draw with the color white. That's the color we're going to select. Then no matter what, it will draw. So now the result of this should fill the background in white form. There we go. Everything that's the characters turned black, everything that's background is turned white. Now we're going to want to save this, of course, so it's something as simple as call save picture picture one dot image and then we'll call it something I'm just gonna call it mask and we gotta put our dot BMP extension on there and you know what I'm gonna hit end at the end because there's no point sticking around once you've done your program oh uh, I'm gonna stop that I gotta save it first because I don't know where it's gonna dump see it would have actually dumped uh, the save file mask into my default install directory so you know what I'm gonna find a new spot for that um, platformer. I'll make a new folder. Mask Maker. There we go. <clears throat> and then whenever you save into a new directory, if you're going to be outputting graphics or files or anything, it's all best to just shut it down and open it back up so that it, it gets the right working directory. If you don't do this, sometimes you can lose a file. Where it saved it, you just don't know where it saved it, and you've got to go find it, and I don't really want to mess with that while I'm doing this video. Okay, run the program. I'm assuming that it worked. It shut down like I told it to. Um, drink it for a second. It did make a, pro or a file called mask, and sure enough, look at that. We have our mask. Now, you could take this, copy it, and you could paste it into your original uh, and give yourself the kind of files that I was showing you earlier. So there we go. A quick little tool, because if you're only using paint, th this would take a little while. 
Um, it's just another way to show that you can BB. The nice thing is if you know what you're doing, you can make tools to do anything that you need to do. Like any, pretty much anything that you can do in Photoshop or GIMP or any of those other fancy programs, you could write the code yourself and um, then you're, even though you're sticking to the rule of paint only, you can make your other tools. And I don't consider that cheating. Um, I still, I think it's funny, uh, in the Pac-Man video, I specifically said it would be cool if people would leave comments instead of just sending me stuff in my inbox. I mean, hey, I'll read and answer the stuff in my inbox, but it's nice to look like the videos are popular because people comment. Um, but sent in this the past week, I have had people, yes, in my inbox asking me questions about the Pac-Man tutorial, uh, but they're not comments on the videos themselves. The big thing that I still get, even though I think I've explained it, people asking, why do I use paint? You know, they're like, oh, it would be so much better if you use Photoshop or use GIMP or whatever. And the thing is, in my normal projects, I do. It's just that for the video, I'm showing you how to do it with the the worst tool you could say, even though I think paint's actually pretty cool. It's the most basic tool, and you can always go up from there. If you understand how to do it with paint, you should be able to do it with anything. And um, just to prove to the people who don't seem to believe that I use other programs than paint, just a handful of different screenshots of, of games or projects or things I'm working on where I did not use paint you know, to generate my graphics. I don't have no idea what folder I'm in. Let's see, that didn't work out how I had planned. Generating preview, generating preview. Okay, we've already seen some of these. You know, just various types of games. Clearly they're not done with paint. In fact, I think most of these here that I'm showing were done with 3D Studio Max. Oh, uh, this reminds me. I have two other videos that I've uh, uploaded. One is my Outbreak game that was done in VB6, and one is called Ship Standoff, and it was also done in VB6. I think if you're interested in these tutorials, that means you're probably using that language, uh, I suggest checking both of those out. The video quality is really crappy, but it's because I didn't have this program yet. I hadn't found and downloaded, I think it's called Cam Studio. Yeah. So I had on the fly made my own program to record the video from the screen, which, you know, some people say, oh, that's cool, you made your own program, but it kind of sucked. The quality was terrible. But I, I would suggest watching those because at the end of each, I believe it gives the download link so you could try out the games. I mean, they're kind of cool. At the very least, it gives you some ideas of different things you could do in VB when you're not limited to these little tutorials I'm doing. Okay, um, what should I be doing next? All right, well, just like the last one, just like the Pac-Man game, um, we're going to start off with a map editor. Um, in most cases, a map editor is the way to start on any game because you have to to build your first initial environment, and then usually uh, you could take the make the choice of saving your editor and then starting over again and copying code in from the editor, or your editor can just simply morph and become the game. And and I think a lot of places just turn the editor right into the game. So um, again, open up VB standard EXE. Uh, all the standard stuff that I've had you guys do your forms scale mode to pixel and. Let's see here, what should we be doing? We'll bring in our picture one. Same idea, pixel. Um, appearance is flat, auto redraw tr true, auto size false, and border style none. I'm going to make another picture. This is going to be, picture two here is going to be what I put um, our tiles in from our sprite sheet. So I hear my alarm going off. Let me save the video.